Okay, hi guys. So today I have a very exciting video. I am finally gonna film my 10 woman killer fragrances for men, but this time within the designer world. I know I filmed it a few months ago, but I mostly featured niche fragrances. So this time I wanted to do my designer version and keep in mind that this is just my opinion. This is what I think personally are the most attractive, sexy, desirable fragrances that a man could wear to attract a woman or a guy whatever you're into. But um, yeah, so this is just kind of coming from my perspective, even though I know a lot of women love the fragrances that I'm about to mention. I also want to say that this video is in collaboration with Fragrance Net. Now Fragrance Net, they're an online retailer and the best thing about this website, and I'm going to have all of the fragrances listed, uh, directing you guys to Fragrance Net. It's not an affiliate link, but I just want to direct you guys to the website because if you wanted to buy any of these fragrances that I'm mentioning today, Fragrance Net, what they kind of specialize in is having the best discounts online. They're a discount website. They have so many incredible deals. They have everything. And the best thing is that obviously I would never promote a website or an online retailer that sold inauthentic products. Fragrance Net is 100% percent they are 100% authentic. So you know you're buying a fresh product, a authentic fragrance. The last thing that you wanna do is purchase a fragrance online and it come back being fake, which I know happens to a lot of people. Fragrance Net is legit, but they just happen to have some of the best deals online. So I'm gonna link all of their information down below. And yeah, let's get into the video. So there is no countdown from 10 to one. These are just all fragrances that I recommend that I personally find completely and utterly sexy, intoxicating, and compelling to wear. Like, when I smell a guy wearing these fragrances, which I've smelled on so many guys wearing these fragrances, for me, they're just the best of the best. And you probably have heard me talking about them on my channel before, but I'm not gonna go ahead and recommend you guys trash or fragrances just because they're new or they're trendy. I'm gonna recommend you what I think are the best, so that's what I'm doing. We're gonna go through this list pretty fast. So let's go. The first fragrance is from Armani and it is Armani Code Profumo. Now Armani Code Profumo is a very masculine, deep, sweet, smoky, woody, opulent scent. Very intoxicating, very sexy. I recommend it on a date. Fall and winter for sure. Very long lasting. It's going to make you stand out and it is just intoxicating, but it has this sexy masculinity to it, which I love. And this little sweet, creamy, addictive quality from some tonka bean in there. Fantastic scent. Recommend 10 out of 10. Next up, we have an oldie but a goodie and I'm still going to recommend this scent because I still love it and I still smell it on guys and I still go crazy. It is La Nuit de L'Homme from Yves Saint Laurent and this fragrance is an OG, but guys, come on. Like, uh, if you don't have it in your collection by now, what are you doing? What are you doing? La Nuit de L'Homme, my friends. This is one of the best fragrances that you could wear on a date ever. Hands down, period, finish. It's a sweet, fresh, it's like this kind of fresh, but it has a sweetness to it, but it has an aromaticness to it and a masculine woody quality. I, it's one of those fragrances that just, I smelled it for the first time and I just, I felt emotional smelling it. It is incredible, 12 out of 10, sex in the bottle. Go ahead and get it right now. La Nuit de L'Homme from Yves Saint Laurent. Next up, we have 1 million, not 1 million, 1 million lucky. For me personally, I am not a fan of the 1 million line in general, not because I think it smells terrible or bad or anything. It's very common. You guys, you probably have owned a bottle of 1 million or, or in your life, you've probably smelled it. You've smelled somebody wearing it. You have a memory attached to 1 million, but I recommend you guys 1 million lucky. I smelled this many, many, many times, but I recently smelled it like two weeks ago and I was like, wow. Wow, 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 this fragrance is great. It is sweet, woody, nutty. It is freaking fantastic. I love it and I really, really recommend it. From the 1 million line, 
This is the only one that I recommend to you to buy in 2021. One million, lucky, go buy it. It is fantastic. It's gonna get you compliments. It's very loud and, and punchy. Everyone is gonna smell you and it is just fantastic. Next up, we have one that I am just, I have such an attachment to this scent. Somebody in my life wears it in my family that I just love and adore. It is Bulgari Man in Black. Bulgari Man in Black, super underrated fragrance. For me, it is absolutely amazing. It is a sweet, spicy, woody, I highly recommend it. Bulgari Man in Black, you can pick it up for fantastic prices, especially on fragrance net. So don't sleep on this one, guys. It is great. The only thing is that the sprayer on the bottle, it can be a little bit annoying, but no worries. Bulgari Man in Black gets my tick of approval. Next up, I could not pick between my two loves. I think that this fragrance right here is me, my favorite designer fragrance in the designer fragrance world on a man. Spice Bomb and Spice Bomb Extreme. I just, I don't know what it is about Spice Bomb and the Extreme. I just cannot get enough of it. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. <laughs> I just cannot get enough of this fragrance. Both of them. You can pick either one depending on what you like. If you like a little more sweet, oriental, woody, deeper scents, then go for the extreme. And if you like a little more of that fresh, uh, spicy, um, more versatile, then I would go for the Spice Bomb. For me, the original Spice Bomb can be worn all year round, summer, autumn, winter, spring, date night, fall, office, whatever. Whereas the extreme is a little more deep and warm and rich. So I would probably stick to it in the more cooler months and more for like date night. But either one, I had to include them both because for me, this line of fragrance, none of the other ones, just the original and the extreme, they are the best designer fragrances on a man. For me, they make me weak at the knees. I have to be honest. Next up we have Bentley for Men Intense. This is actually the original, but I wanted to pick up a bottle and show something because I feel kind of strange right now. Bentley for Men Intense is my recommendation. Now Bentley for Men Intense, it smells a little similar to the original. It's a warm, woody, very masculine. It has a little bit of leather. It's, it's very masculine and a little bit boozy incredible intoxicating and it actually smells very high quality for the price again you can pick up the bentley from an intense super 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 cheap and in my opinion it doesn't smell cheap whatsoever guys one thing you have to know about me is that i don't want any guy to smell cheap i don't want you to smell cheap i don't like it when a guy smells cheap i'm never going to recommend you cheap fragrances even if they are cheap i'm never going to recommend you something that smells cheap so Bentley from Men Intense, fantastic. All of the fragrances in this list, whether they're $100 or $20, they all smell luxurious, expensive, and sexy, and you have to buy them. Okay. One that I've talked about and rambled on about for years is Hugo Boss Boss Bottled Intense. Now this for me is just, wow, it's a wow. It is a super like spicy, slightly sweet, slightly fresh, slightly smoky, deep, woody, masculine. I have so many like memories attached to this scent and it is wow. <laughs> like it is not the memories. The memories are really not wow. But the scent itself, it makes me, it drives me crazy. I don't know what is in Hugo Boss. Boss Bottled Intense, but it drives me crazy. And I do want to say it's very hard to find the Boss Bottled Intense right now. You can only really find the Boss Bottled or like some of the other flankers. So make sure if you find it, get it. Fragrance Net are selling the Boss Bottled Intense. So make sure that you sell out the stock because I don't think it's going to be coming back. And uh, it's one of my favorite designer fragrances, which makes me cry inside. Um, that it's not coming back. Next up, we have Armani Stronger With You or Stronger With You Intensely. Whichever one you want to go for, they are both fan-freaking-tastic. Warm, sweet, nutty, and woody. Not sure I like that description. <laughs> Warm, sweet, nutty, and woody. Armani Stronger With You. Wow, what a sense what a scent actually a friend of mine came over a while ago he was wearing it and i told him i was like what are you wearing because it smells freaking amazing and he told me uh it's one from armani and i couldn't tell which one it was i really couldn't tell all i knew was that it smelled phenomenal 
like absolutely amazing, sexy, addictive, delicious, and it was stronger with you. I think the intense one. And it is just an amazing scent. Another one that's great is like By the Fireplace from Maze and Margiela, Jazz Club from Maze and Margiela. And for me, the Armani Stronger With You sits within that line of scents. Fantastic. You need to get this one for the Fall and Winter and Date Night. Okay, next up we have Mugler's Pure Malt. Me, I'm not a fan of Pure Havana. I think it's a little, a little, little, little too sweet. For me, I prefer the pure malt because it's more masculine, it's more sexy, it's more... Pure malt is sexy, masculine, boozy, spicy, woody, uh, a little like sweet as well. It's just absolutely intoxicating. Mugler's pure malt, get it. I feel like it's more for a bad boy. So for all you bad boys out there, this one is for you. Another bad boy scent, Carolina Herrera CH Men Privé. Now, I love it. I have loved this fragrance for years now. Years. And for me to love a certain fragrance for years, it really says something. And CH Men Privé, each time I smell it, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Hits a spot. It's so sexy. It's boozy and spicy and a little bit sweet. And it has a green touch to it, like this freshness, maybe from the leather. I'm not sure. There is a little bit of leather in here, I think, but it's not in a an, in an aggressive way where it's like too much. It's so sexy and just wow. Like that's it. I can't say anything else. It's wow. CH Men Privé from Carolina Herrera. Get it. You won't regret it. Fantastic boozy scent. More for like date night and stuff. I think it does work in like spring autumn, winter, maybe not in the summertime, but it's not nothing too warm and sweet like the Stronger With You from Armani. This one is just great. And lastly, we have one from Isimiyaki, which in my opinion is a fragrance brand that is super underrated. And this is Isimiyaki Nuit de Isi Parfum. Fantastic scent, super masculine, leather, spicy, a little bit sweet, a little bit green. So utterly masculine that I cannot even explain it. It is just masculinity, sexy. This guy is super powerful and confident and I just love it. So Nui de Isi Parfum from Isi Miyaki. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out fragrancenet.com. All of the fragrances linked down below that I spoke about in the video will link you to fragrancenet.com because I want you to get a discount. I want you to get a discount. I want you to get the fragrances that I mentioned in this video. If you like the description off of what I said, get it, don't hesitate. They are fantastic fragrances that for me are sexy, that are just intoxicating, attractive fragrances for if you want to attract men or women, whoever, these are the best fragrances to get. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.